Hey guys, this is going to be a short video, it might not be short, sometimes I get a little talky, um, about your responsibilities as a concealed carry citizen. So, when you get your permit to carry, yeah, I got my Glock 27, when you get your permit to carry, you are expected, obviously, to pass course and a test. Um, here it's not required that you know how to shoot. You don't get tested on your shooting. But if you've never shot a gun before, obviously you want to you want to take some classes. You want to get taught. You want to know how to shoot a gun. Because you can't just go waving it and shooting it and hitting everything you want. It's not a put in front of you, point and pull the trigger thing, and you're always going to hit your target. It takes time and skill. So, with that said, after you pass all the paperwork, this is responsibilities after the fact. You have to know exactly where it is legal for you to carry in your area and any area that you are traveling to. I live in a college town and kind of a smaller town in Iowa and it's illegal to carry on school property. And my city is probably 50 to 60 percent college property. Um, I got a fucking hair in my mouth. It'll work itself out. Yeah, so I have to know where the public property stops and school property starts whenever I'm carrying. Because I do not want to step out of my car in a college area and then have some crazy dude, you know, shanking people or shooting people and then me draw my gun, fire, kill him, and then be at fault too because it is an illegal area to carry. Uh, you also have to, you have to be better than other people. You can't get pissed off at little things. You can't, you just can't get pissed off at little things. You can't let all those little things build up and then you just snap on somebody. Like, you know, if you're walking down the street with your girlfriend and some dude slaps her ass and you've had a bad day and you can't get into an argument with him, and then, you know, him getting it, like, throwing a punch at you, and you guys scuffling on the ground, and, you know, then you've got your gun out, and, you know, he slapped her ass, yeah, he started it, but he, do you really want to have to pull your gun on somebody for slapping your girlfriend's ass? Some would say it's worth it, and she's probably worth it, but, uh, it's not my computer. And, uh, yeah, so, you just can't, can't get pissed off at little things. You have to be a better person than other people. You have to be a snob. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I have mine on me, people are saying stupid things, and I just brush it off. I just, I don't care, you know. People are, like, my friends, if they start, you know, mouthing off to other people, I'll leave them right then and there. I don't care. I'm not going to be put in a situation where I have to, defend my life because they were slack jawing at some 300 pound meathead I'm a buck 50 you know he could snap my neck with his hand goddamn right if he comes after me I'm gonna have to pull my gun but I'm not gonna be in the position for him to come after me because you have to be better than them yeah you can't get road rage oh my lord I get so much road rage but whenever I have my pistol on me I am always probably 98% calmer than what I normally am. Because, you know, you can't you can't have somebody cut you off and then follow them to their next destination and get out of your car and be like, what were you doing, MF? That means motherfucker. Um, what were you doing, MF? You cut me off. And then that guy gets pissed and maybe he pulls a bat out of his car and then you draw your gun. Well, you followed him home or to wherever he was going and you antagonized that. You're going to be at fault. You're going to get in trouble. You basically just have to... You have to be better than the people. You have to be smarter than them, and you can't get pissed off at stupid shit. Because if you end up... Little known fact. If you are in a, in a situation where you do have to defend yourself, and you do fire your gun, and you do hit somebody, or you, even if you don't hit somebody, you're probably going to be arrested, and go to jail, and questioned. I mean, it's not going to be like, oh... 
this guy came at me, uh, he had a knife, I shot him, and they're going to be like, oh, congratulations, here's the key to the city, you're an upstanding citizen. Not going to be like that. Just not going to be like that. Yeah, you, <laughs> you're going to get arrested. You're going to get, they're going to draw their gun on you, have you put your hands on your head, get on your knees, they're going to frisk you and all that stuff. They don't know what happened, they just know that there was a shooting. So, comply with the officers, obviously. If you have any drugs or alcohol in your system, which you shouldn't have any drugs in your system because drugs are bad, okay? But alcohol, if you go to the bars, one drink maximum. I think back, I don't know. I got dog hair. One drink maximum because you're going to get in deep shit if you end up having to pull your firearm out and you're close to the legal limit, you know? When your judgment could be impaired, that's when courts are going to be like, well, he could have started it, you know. You put that doubt into your into your juries or trial, whatever, into your jurors' heads, yeah, they're going to doubt that you're innocent, too. I mean, it, it goes both ways. You can't, you can, you can go have a beer. I think a beer is okay, unless you're drinking double IPAs, like I love. Uh, you can... Or just IPAs. Double IPAs are hard to find, but they're higher alcohol content. Some are like 10, 10 to 12 percent. You can get a good buzz off of a double IPA, in which case you would not want to get caught, you know, in in a gunfight because you could be construed as inhibited, uninhibited, inhibited. You could be construed as almost drunk by a court. And anything that's going to give them any doubt to believe that you were of the right mind frame is going to be bad. Now, you might not go to court, but if you shoot somebody and the family wants to sue you for civil damages or wrongful death, you're going to go to court and they're going to, you know, you're going to have to testify and get all that bullshit going on. You just, you can't be in those situations. I mean, if you're on a bunch of prescription meds, Depending on what their side effects are, you could be construed as not right in the mind by a court. You know, you've got like five or six different medicines that all interact with each other and make you kind of loopy, then, you know, that's kind of your fault. If, if you've been smoking pot all day and the court sees that, well, you know what, you're probably going to be guilty. I mean... Drug use is just, to me, it's it's stupid. It's a stupid way to lose your privileges as a human being. So, with that said, know where you're, you're carry, where you're permitted to carry in your area or any area you're going to. Be better than other people when you're carrying. Do not, do not ever brandish it for no reason. If somebody's like, hey, man, are you carrying? I'm like, yeah, you want to see it? Here. No, don't do that. You just keep it concealed. People don't need to see it. People don't, don't need to talk to you about it. You don't need to pull it out to show them. You know, you have to be smart like that. You can't be an idiot and just be like, hey, check it out. I got a Glock 27. Got the extended pinky mag. Yeah. Can't be like that. And you gotta know, you know, what 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 alcohol will do to you if you're carrying. Like I've heard before, one drink maximum, maximum. It's just one, one beer, one shitty bush light, all you can drink when you're carrying your gun. Small sacrifice to pay to be able to defend yourself. Cause bush light sucks balls. <laughs> But sometimes I've even I've even had a Miller 64 when I was carrying one time. Yeah, I put that shit in my body. I put that shit in me. Oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. Miller 64. Those commercials make it sound so joyous. It's not. It tastes like Bigfoot's dick. I don't know what that tastes like. I I might have been raped by Bigfoot. He might have made me. We don't need to get into that sore subject. Sore subject. If I was carrying at the time, I could have shot Bigfoot because that's rape is always, always a time where you can kill somebody. Mm-hmm. Yep. Always shoot him dead. 
even if it's Bigfoot. Fucking shoot him six times. Anyway, now we're getting off topic. This is weird and creepy, too. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right now because I'm kind of scaring myself. Uh, yeah, be smart when you carry. Carry often. Carry wherever you can legally. And don't get drunk. Don't get stoned. Don't get hopped up on pills and shit like that while you're carrying. Because as a law-abiding citizen, you don't want to lose your right to have one of these at your side. That's all I have to say about that. I'm going to use this fancy remote here to turn you off.